set suffix, frame fix, suffix, prefix, die. Mono is not the kitchen disease in this case. Even though we do not support it, mono is one. Uno. For fetch. Ladies and gentlemen, do you got it down? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get cracking. Cracking, lacking. Yeah. So, I'm excited because we get to make it through the good stuff. Everybody in second period, they were walking out feeling good. I promise you, I'm serious. Except for the trick I gave it to you. The trick I gave it to you. They were like, yo, Mr. Hall, but I'm teaching you valuable lessons of life. Okay? Like a valuable lesson in life that you should learn is don't do it just because you just did. I'll explain more later. Okay? All right, so here we go. So we have dealt with nomenclature, naming all sorts of different uh, uh, compounds. We've done ionic bonds. We've dealt with the transition metals. And now today, ladies and gentlemen, we go into a very, very interesting part of nomenclature. This is a part of nomenclature which you're going to be uh, hating. This is like the one that if there's anything out there, that I would look at you and say, what? Well, you have all sort of writing in your hand. It's all senior stuff. It's Mr. Sweat, a test, no school. There you go. Something about credit cards. Don't get credit cards. You're not ready for Don't? credit cards. Don't? You're not ready for credit cards. I get it. I have a credit card. I have a debit card. A debit card is not a credit card. I have a debit card. Debit card is not a credit card. Because you, see, you feel all this freedom of taking a piece of plastic, and you're like, swipe. swipe. Oh, I love those shoes. I'll just pay on it later. Swipe. Oh, I love that shirt. Swipe. Oh, I would love to go to that concert. Type it in, hit enter. Whoa, oh, yeah. You get the bill in the mail, you're like, $1,112.87. Where'd that all come from? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, no. Learn responsibility first. Okay. So we're going to start into this nomenclature of covalent bonds. And we're starting. That's like the big way of saying it. And the second way of saying it is we're going to name molecules. Okay. Molecules deal with what type of bond? Covalent. <laughs> so covalent bonds, not James Bond, even though great movies. All right, so we start naming these. Now I'm gonna give to you uh, kind of uh, these rules for these, and the first part of it is you will use. Prefixes before the element to tell how many of those L uh, atoms are in the molecule. And as you've picked up so far, I don't feel like I need to write this, but the number will come after the chemical symbol and the chemical formula in order to show how many of those atoms are within that uh, molecule. So all I'm saying there is like CO2. C, there's nothing there. There's understood to be one. I mean, there's one carbon. What just happened? My phone just stopped mirroring. It's all good. I'll throw it back up. So, it has uh, one carbon. And along with that, it has two oxygens. All right. 
but in this you've heard that before, carbon dioxide. All right, that di is telling you how many oxygens are there. There's two. Okay, so the <coughs> thing you're gonna look at is uh, breaking these down. Really, there's like a uh, couple rules you gotta look at whenever you're using these. I'm gonna use this nice. I'm gonna call it a teal. Just adorable. Hey, I wonder what you're thinking. That's a teal bush. That's not green. That's right. You're the painter. You make that bush any color you want. That would be a little different. You don't make mistakes when they have the accident. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. All right, bye bye, bush. This is our class. Here's one. Okay? Thank you. There we go. So, first thing you got to know first thing you got to get is the less. Electro negative element is named first. Okay, if it makes you feel better, put a smiley face with it. Because this is chemistry, and we all love the chemistry. Yeah? No. Wow. Smile. Please do. Oh my god, it's hard to It is, that hurt my feelings. I want you to love my cats. Okay. So now here is the one thing that I find that students they always struggle with. They always make this mistake. And it's a simple, simple, simple rule to remember. Okay? Number two. And I'm putting it in purple. Wow. Only if. 
There absolutely should be. Okay, there is more. That is grammatically <laughs> wrong. Hey, hey, does this look like an English class to you? I didn't think so. Hush. Y'all okay, want to take a picture of it and send it to Miss Steffi? There you yeah. go. I'll go get her right now and let like her like scream. All right, can I finish my statement? All right? More than one. Okay, I'm talking like one, like off SpongeBob, like he was number one. That one, like the number one, like one. Okay. You got it? Okay. More than one Adam. It took you ten minutes. I know what Adam. He lives in Ohio. And another smiley face to make you feel good about yourself. Yes. I don't feel good about yourself. Okay. Are you ready? No. For the third roll. I'm going to use the color blue. It's my favorite color. Okay. How is everybody? Y'all want me to put three over here? Uh, okay. Alright, we'll put three over here, even though it bothers me. You know that camera's right there recording you. It's hearing everything you're saying. Just hearing that how much reaction. This is for when we go home, but I'm going to send this students, but let me hear it real quick. Yeah, I think we have one's allergic reaction for the past two months. Yeah, for the genus. Alright, number three! Okay! Alright, you will have a prefix for the second. I'm talking the second, like the guy that came in second place in the competition, the guy who was second on like the Guinness World Record, the guy that like you know, he was not number one, he's first place loser, that second, not second like time. Got that? Okay. Prefix for second element. I'll put a comma. And Let's put another comma so that we're showing a pause. Oh my God, Mr. Hall, you're killing me. I'm not going to you Uh, what is that? Uh, 
There's a prefix for the second element. I'm actually in grad school here, but ain't that. Prefix for the second element will always be there, no matter what, and it will end in IDE. So it's always there, what? IDE. IDE. We're gonna, of course, we're gonna work examples. All right. I feel like I can't be here. I feel like my head's going to be I'm going to ask you to stop talking because the camera's right there. <laughs> the camera's literally picking it up. I hope they learn chemistry. Chemistry. Alright, so in this case, like some examples of this, alright? So I want to show you, the first one I want to show you is like in that case where you don't have that pre prefix in the beginning. Prefix, okay? So like if we started off with like... We'll start with something that you're familiar with, okay? Y'all keep it up, and I'm going to start making like more grammar mistakes. Okay, I feel like he says he's making grammar mistakes on purpose, but in reality, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I think he's just doing it. I would be the person that would say I was on purpose, but I wouldn't think so. No, I don't want to spell it. Like, in a lot of cases, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to spell it. Okay, so no, no, no. That's absolutely on purpose. Oh, wait, no, no. So, you look at this. Here's how you do this. First thing you look at, okay? Look at the first element in this molecule. It's carbon. How many of these carbons do we got? One. One. So it's kind of like in math class with that variable X. You don't put nothing because, you know, there's no, you don't have to put a one. You got an X, it's understood there's a one there. So in that case, what you're going to do is put no prefix, put the elements there. Carbon. Hey, did I mention, make sure you like learned your elements? Hey. No. All of them? No, those. Oh, I hate this class. What? I keep on telling you about the notes right now. It makes me hate this class. All right, so look at the second element in this case, all right? So, huh? they're like not, it's not there, they weren't fertilized. So, second one we're looking at here, okay? How many of that second element is there? Two. What's the prefix? There you go. So put die. Then the element is oxygen. It will be oxide, dioxide. Oh, this is making so much more sense than yeah. the other day. This is, this is, this is different. I know. Did you say this is not making sense? I said this is different. No, I know, but like with the, the naming yeah. with other things. Yeah. 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 Why? Like the term of the day. Like the term of the day. Freshman now. Yeah, yeah. he was my freshman. Like that. <laughs> that went home with the owner. Who was the owner? Who was the owner? Yeah. Did they take him on a bus with him? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we got carbon dioxide. So let's work on another example here, okay? How are y'all feeling? Like, y'all make me feel good. You look at me like this makes sense. That's not, I never hear that. No, it makes it. Yeah, it makes sense. Like carbon monoxide. Awesome to see. All of my grammar mistakes. It, it, they make it. It didn't seem. Carbon monoxide would be CO, right? What? Carbon monoxide. would be Okay. Yes, look at you. I tell you what, you are you are brilliant. You should become a chemist. Yeah, yes, yes. I will fire you for going on. I'm confused. In two o five. Oh no, I'm done. In two o five. Yeah, that end is not to do. All right, so here we go. All right, hey, wait a minute. What you signed up for? You signed up for physics? Yes. Give me your paper. I'll put it for you. 
Anyway, all, all jokes aside, how many of you in here signed up for physics? Y'all are lying. 13, 14, 15, 16. Are you lying or are you serious? I'm lying. 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 I
Come on, come on, come on, I believe in you. I believe in you. No, y'all got this. 
Hey Siri, start a timer for two minutes because that's as long as I'm giving these kids. They need to feel some pressure. You know what I mean? I don't think she understands you. She's just sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Two minutes and counting. I feel like the it's like, I like your head. Head. Don't we do not all part of the Sorry, I don't understand. No, he's entertained the whole time. He was like, wow, this guy is hilarious. I was not in the And then Apple just like snores all the time. What do you put next? Well, that's what she does. She has the things that we talked about. Cow like This is like But you have that for calcium. You put try nitrogen. She says, I know what I'm talking about. You look at me with dread and sorrow in your eyes. Yes, you No. Or are you just going to explain it anyway? I'm going to let you give this a shot without I saying anything. Mr. Hall. Come here. Yeah, okay. pretty much. I've got reluctantly by a coach. Oh. Oh, my God. Mr. Hall. Oh, my gosh, Mr. Hall. I think I did it. You think you got it? I think so. I think you got the right thing. I bet you, but you can check it. I just know it's like a fucking nitrogen. How many of you in this room think you got this? Well, I'm fine. I love how everybody's like, I got this, and some of y'all are like, I kind of think I got it, but I also know who you are, so I ain't putting my hand up. Green. Okay, with the All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Tell me, what did you get? The nitrogen, the nitrogen, the nitrogen. All right, so y'all put the nitrogen. Yeah, try calcium. That's probably wrong anyway. Try calcium. Mine's wrong. I know Calcium. Many, many times. 
You're not doing that. I'm trying to break you of that. You cannot look and go, okay, we just learned the prefixes. We're doing the prefixes. Hey, uh, prefixes, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. And then we get here and you're like, okay, there's three, so that's got to be try. There's two, that's not. No! The first step you do, what type of bond, what rules are we going to use? Is there a transition metal here? I don't have any. We should have a free number one rule. Well, that's like the golden rule for nomenclature. Find a set of rules that you've got to use for it. Okay? This, this is nomenclature covalent bonds. That's those rules. If you have questions, come see me. I'm proud of you. You guys are doing wonderful. I'll see you tomorrow if you're here. Very nice.